Hey guys, Louis Cuevas here with the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors Technology Committee and today I wanted to ask you the question, do you as a real estate professional really need a computer? Now the reason I ask this is because the programs that we have used and the services have traditionally gone from being hosted on your computer to now being online. Think about some of the services that you and I use on a regular basis. The DocuSign, the Netrix, the Matrix, the Canva, the Facebook, the social media, the YouTube, all that is no longer on your computer that is now moved online and what that means is that you no longer need strong processing power you don't need a lot of memory you don't need a lot of storage because everything's being done online so the question is do you really need that computer first and foremost let's talk about phones as an alternative let's just realize that phones are very powerful are very good but they're limited next let's talk about tablets these are being touted as the next laptop and computer replacements they're no longer just the alternative they want to be the replacements and lately some of their processors have gotten to be just as fast as laptops and computers and in many instances even stronger and faster which is very impressive the real nice thing about this is that the screens tend to be bigger the battery life is getting better you can add a keyboard you can use a pencil and it's very very light and portable so it's a really strong argument for the tablet or the iPad. Next are the laptops. Realize that laptops are just mobile computers, right? They're getting thinner, lighter, stronger, better, better battery life, just a stronger processor, memory, storage. But realize that these come at an exorbitant premium. They cost a pretty penny for you to be able to have that luxury for you on the move. So it may not be the best idea for you. Now the last but not least are the Chromebooks and the netbooks those by far in the last five seven years have come a long way and if you're not familiar with those they look like a traditional laptop but on the inside they don't have the strong processor they don't have the best memory and they don't have very much storage but that's okay because that's not what they're designed to do what they're designed to do is just get you on the internet so that you can have access to your google docs and your email and everything else that you're going to be doing online they have realized that all the power and all the processing power is being done online, no longer on your computer. And for that reason, they're very, very inexpensive. And this is something that many realtors could definitely use on a regular basis and save some money while they're at it. All right, so the question is, do you still need a computer? And that is something that you individually would have to answer. Now, we're all different, but I think that as real estate agents, we don't have to have as big a computer as many of us do. And that would save you time, money, maybe even make you more efficient. But hopefully this got you thinking. Hopefully this gave you things to consider for the next time you're in a position that you need to replace your device. Maybe it's not with a computer. Maybe it's one of these alternatives. I hope you found this of value. If you have any questions or suggestions on other topics you'd like for me to cover, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. But thank you so much for watching this video.